On the way back from the Sustainable Living Conference, we stopped at an organic farm that raises uh, water buffalo, sugar cane, and uh, a lot of vegetables as well. It's kind of a market garden. And they not only sell the water buffalo meat, but they also sell the milk. I had a little adventure with ants while I was there, and we had a run-in with the bull water buffalo. I just made the mistake of stepping on an ant hill and uh, got bit many, many times on my feet because I've got sandals on. And I'm told the sores will stick around for like a week, so that sucks. This is sugar cane, and they've apparently got a press down there and a pot for boiling it down. They make sur uh, sugar syrup, uh, sugar cane syrup. See some grape vines over here. Uh huh. Yeah, as long as there's no more ant pills. <laughs> oh, with the animal, livestock? Uh, I think that's how they used to do it. Now they'd use the golf cart. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Pete Canaris did a yeah. video on Did you see it? I think so. Yeah, he did, a, he did like a... Oh, look at that. Process. I think it was really cool. Wow. He used to be an animal. Yeah, yeah, a buffalo. <laughs> now Chris is, Chris is demonstrating as the livestock. You stick the cane in there. And the juice comes out here. It takes about an hour to bring it to a boil, to 12, and then it takes maybe three to four hours to finish it to get it down to. So you take 60 gallons into 8 gallons. 8 gallons of syrup. Wow, look at that. It has to get a certain temperature. I forget what the temperature is. It is a lot like sand hill. This is the way that you boil down the maple syrup when we, yep. when we harvest that. And then people are just eating it, tasting it right out of here. Nice. You guys don't have those ones? No. Mm -hmm. Our ants don't bite, really. We have it in my town. And I was, when I came here, I said, no. I get it too. They have a red head. See, I got like a little inverter on that. That's my uh, This is milking operation. Oh, nice. So I got like a 48 volt. Um, Where you making mozzarella? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tell you what, my best cheese. This is my best cheese recipe. You take skim milk and you set it out. That's it. Do you put it through a cloth at all, or does it just solidify, or what? No, it just sits there and sits there, and then the next thing you know, you got cheese. <laughs> it really is delicious. Um, Come here. Come on, Emily. Come on, Mariah. Oh, you named Come them on. all? Yeah, Jenny, Mariah, oh, Milky, Sloppy. Gosh. I've never seen a buffalo so close. <laughs> and so are they related to aurochs too, or are they completely different well, animals? Well, they're different, you know, they have, they're, I guess, closely related to um, cattle, but they, they have different chromosomes, so they won't, they can't, like, breed with cattle, anything like that. And then they started thinking about, you know, things like water buffalo. Mm -hmm. And the community gardens around... Oh, here um, comes... He was, got, he was heading right for you. A lot of people. Oh, I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we hadn't turned around, I don't know if that thing would have tried to get him. This is a kind of a Turkish mulberry behind me, and it has these really long, big mulberries. Mmm. Oh. It's actually much tastier than the mulberries we have. It's not as sweet, but it's sweet in a different way. Um, those are good. And I was asking him if they grow in 
temperate regions because I've never seen anybody grow one of these. I don't know. I don't think it would survive the winter in our uh, in our climate. But I'll have to try to find out. Hopefully you can hear the sound on this. There's a lot of wind and I know the uh, microphone on this is not the best at dealing with wind. We got a couple different bites on this foot. One up here. Up the other foot. Feel like I got bit more on this foot. It's itchy. Hopefully it won't be too long term of a pain to deal with. It itches quite a bit now. Not something I'm crazy about having happen. I'll be a little more cautious next time. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share and like the video, and I'll see you next time.